is Yen and I'm a registered dietitian. I'm here to provide some suggestions and tips for facilitating the nutrition session. So for this segment, we're gonna talk about trying new foods, uh, specifically the recipe with the uh, rice wraps. Um, this will be a challenging recipe for kids and some parents because we will be using tofu for the recipe. And so there's probably a few families who have tried tofu before and there probably will be a few families who also haven't. And so this is a really good experience for parents or grown-ups to do because, um, because this will help help them understand what their child might be going through if they are presented with a new food or a foreign food or even a food that maybe they've tried and they didn't really like. Because some adults might have tried tofu and they also didn't really like it. For some people, it's an acquired taste. Um, so this is a really good way to sort of reassure um, parents to say, um, this is a good experience if you haven't tried it, to know what it's like for children to when they're presented with new foods. And, um, and this is where you can encourage them to also try taste taste it especially if they've tasted it before taste it again um, we're going to season it maybe flavor it differently um, and um, if you don't like it then we remind them of the procedure is like take a napkin and spit it out quietly no need to draw attention to it and say no thank you it might not be for me and also to also praise the child for um, taking that chance and that bravery to try the food um, that they haven't tried before or that they didn't really like before. Okay, so just a little bit about tofu is that um, tofu is made from fresh soybeans. Um, it's very popular in Asian dishes. Um, it's used a lot in Chinese uh, food, um, Chinese cooking. Um, there's different textures. Um, it can be soft, medium, firm, or extra firm. It just depends on how much water is in it. So um, extra firm tofu, which is what we have here, has a lot less water than the soft tofu. And so typically, if people are trying tofu for their first time I typically recommend the firm or extra firm tofu because it has more of a sturdier texture not a lot of people um, might be fans of the soft mushy texture um, so tofu can be prepared in a, mostly in a savory dish so you can season it with salt and pepper some soy sauce um, or whatever seasonings that you want to use and in Chinese in Chinese cuisine we also make this in like a dessert so it would be with a syrup but more of the salt using the soft tofu so that may be another adventurous thing to try if you haven't already. Um, they're really good subplant based protein, so a substitute for meat if it's something that you like. And again, it could be an acquired taste. So it might take a few tries for you to come around to it. Um, and that's also one thing to reiterate to parents as well and to remind them that's why with kids, it might take 100 times, 200 times, maybe, maybe a few years um, to come around to the taste and the texture. And so uh, tofu can also be a really good source uh, not, of not just protein, but also calcium. So if you find tofu that's um, in uh, calcium sulfate, which is what um, this tofu is in, you can look on the ingredients list and find calcium sulfate. It could also be a good source of calcium, which is good for our bones, our teeth, and our nails. Um, and yeah, give it a shot.